Adding lettering to a design is easy in Hatch. I'm Lindy Goodall, and in this video we'll do just that. We'll start by removing this lettering, so just click on it and hit the Delete key. To add lettering, we'll go to the Lettering and Monogramming Toolbox and click on Lettering. A new docker appears, it's the Lettering Docker, and my cursor is all ready for me to type. So I'll type in Get Whale Soon. It appears on the screen. I'll just move it up so we can see it. And the next thing we want to do is pick a font. Fonts that have this little zigzag icon in front indicate this font is a pre-digitized embroidery font. And we have a lot of choices here in Hatch. So all we need to do is pick the font we want. Once we have the font we want, we can set the height. I'll type in 15. Then we can choose a baseline. The normal one is called Freeline, but we can try out some other ones. I'm going to leave it at Freeline because I want to use Lettering Art. And with Lettering Art, we have a lot of possibilities here. And I'm going to pick number two. Close that. We can pick an alignment. It doesn't make a lot of difference here with just one line of text, so I'll leave it that, that way. Under Advanced, we can set the width of the line. We can set the slant. If I say 15, I get a, an almost italic looking font. I can set the lettering spacing so I can squish up those letters a little bit. And I can also tell it what way I want it to sew. Do I want it to sew normally as in left to right, center out, or right to left? You would normally use this on cap. So now all we need to do is save our design as an EMB file so that we can modify the text at a future time. And that's just how easy it is to add lettering to a design in Hatch.